Today, we were fishing for 10 pound bass in small ponds. About a month ago, I met a subscriber from the channel and he showed me multiple 10 pound bass he caught out of a small pond. Once he showed me where the pond was located, I realized that we had fished it before and missed a few monsters. So today, we're going back out to this pond in hopes that we can catch one of these double digits. And let me tell you, we found out quick that this pond is loaded with monster bass. That's a big, that's a big. Recipe. All right, boys, we're at a small pond that has some 10 pound bass and we're gonna be hunting for them today. The weather has just finally started to cool off. It was a hot, brutal summer and I am so excited to get out here today. I was sick this past week, so I wasn't able to get out and fish and I am pumped to be back out here today. I got me a Strike King Red Eye Shad on. This is just a little natural, sexy shad color and uh, I got it paired up on my Kicking Their Bass TV x -Lose combo. If you guys want to check them out, kickingtheirbass.com. It'll be linked down below. But uh, yeah, I heard there's some 10 pounders in here. Before we get deeper into this video, only 27% of y'all watching these videos are actually subscribed. So if you could take the time, hit the subscribe button. It really helps the channel. I'd appreciate it. We actually came out here about a week and a half ago. Connor ended up hooking some tanks and he ended up losing them. And uh, we're back out here today in hopes that we can catch some of these giants. So let's go ahead and start casting around and see what we can do. And uh, I'll tell you guys, the fall time, when it comes around, these bass are over here chasing bait, they're eating bait fish. And uh, my favorite bait to throw of all time is a lipless crankbait. And uh, that is exactly what we're gonna do today. And hopes that we'll get some of these big girls to bite. So let's just cover some water and see what we can catch. So the way that this pond sets up, you got this small little corner here. It kind of narrows down into like a little canal as you ease on this way. There's a big tree that's fell down, which is gonna be hard for us to fish with this lipless, but I'm not too worried about that because after the tree, you've got a big opening and uh, it's gonna be a perfect area for us to fan cast this lipless in. But uh, that's kind of the goal today. Get them on a moving bait and try to catch them eating. It's really what I wanna do. The last couple of times I've gone out, I've been slowing down a little bit or I've even thrown a chatter donk here and there, but they just haven't been eating it. And this trap is getting to be trap season, boys. There ain't, there ain't another bait that I want to throw more than this trap right now. I don't know if you guys see that right there. I think a fish just came off this bank. There's a lot of dust in the water there. Something we need to pay attention to. Pay attention to our surroundings. And more importantly, we need to figure out how these fish are eating today. And how we can uh, change up our retrieve to better our bite ratio. Ooh, gosh. I don't know if I just got hit or I binged off like a little lay down or something. I didn't know really what to expect on this side of the pond. Like before you hit this tree, I know the other side is going to be prime. So boys, I don't know if you guys remember way back when, the first time I came out to this pond, but I was throwing a popping pickle. If you guys don't know what a popping pickle is, that's a, it's like a popping frog. And I threw it right on the edge of this tree and i got exploded on by a good five six pounder and uh, i ended up losing them but roll that clip real quick Big monster. he came off that was like a five six pounder dude oh he came off that fish was a freaking monster <laughs> it was so cool to get a bite on the frog but he was right there I don't want to really risk. I don't have any other baits in my pocket. I'd have to run back to my truck if I got this hung up. So we're just going to keep on walking and get to the money zone I want to throw at anyways. You also need to be careful here. There's definitely some gators in this pond. My casting is so rusty today. I got to get locked in. This is the money side I've been looking forward to. It's still pretty narrow, but it's more open than that other side. It's actually right where Connor had a few bites. Get bait right there. Come on, big girl. Let's see it. Just like that. Oh my gosh. This is either a giant or I have him hooked weird. I might have him hooked weird. Oh, it's a nice one. Yeah, I do have them hooked weird though. Look at that. <laughs> there we go, boys. First fall bass. 
of 2023 right there nice weather out it's a beautiful day and we got our first bite had them hooked in the sides so they felt a lot bigger but that's a solid I'd say pound and a half pound and three quarters she ain't quite two i was on the first cast out there in the middle right where they were popping bait maybe we'll get them fired up here there she goes so you got both banks like this right and it creates like a little crevice in the bottom and that's where connor was getting those bites that's where i ended up getting the bite and that's exactly where he just bit it so there's definitely something down there that's holding them. Dude. I got them hooked weird too. It's like they're slapping at him. What's it big? Oh no, I might have them hooked in the side. I don't know what's going on in here. I don't have him hooked in the mouth. Or yeah, I do. He's just tiny. I had his mouth hooked shut. That's why. <laughs> I thought I had him hooked in the side of the face. He ate it. He just ate it head first. Not a big one. Not what we're looking for. We'll take another small bass. I think they're loaded down there. We just need to fire up those big girls. They're in here. They live here for sure. Connor actually missed a lot of them big ones last time we were here. Thank you for biting, baby. There she goes. Not the size we're looking for, but that's the start. And one thing I like to pay attention to is how these fish are biting it. They're not really slamming it. They're just kind of loading up. And the majority of the time when you're throwing a trap, that's what's gonna happen. They're just gonna load up on it. But there's some days you'll come out here and they're just slapping the heck out of it. I'm just glad that one had it in his mouth because I thought he had it in his face, which was interesting letting this thing rip should get bit right here i'm feeling that come on fish i know there's more down there i know there's some big ones too i just gotta give them the bite there we go that one slammed it that's a big one that's a big one right there boys that's a big one i'm talking a great big one it's about to come up that's a big one this is a monster oh gosh it's a freaking tank oh my gosh come on baby she's barely on oh i have her in the top of the head come on yeah look at that four pounder all freaking day let's go boys oh my god look at this fall bite man and i'll tell you one thing that i've noticed look at how he ate it he's got that front treble hook which usually they have that back one on the lipless but they're eating this bait head first which makes sense that's normally how a big bass or just a bass in general would eat it a good solid close to four pounder if not she's probably three and three quarters and that is the size that we want thank you for biting baby that's a pancake right there son look at that <laughs> there we go we're already on fish number three i'm hoping we just get them fired up boys and they just they just won't stop biting that's what i'm hoping you can tell they're eating a trap right now though we haven't been fishing this side for dang 10 maybe maybe 12 minutes i already have three solid bites that is a great sign i will say one thing we need to think about too these fish are right out in the middle man i, don't know I was talking about that little ditch a little divot this pond's probably only five foot but i'll tell you if it's three foot around these banks pretty flat and you got a five foot hole in the middle they're just going to sit up in that crevice because there's no you know trees or lay downs or anything that i feel down there so that just tells me they got to be sitting in a little hole and they just come out and ambush this bait when it goes over their head dude <laughs> i guess there is a tree down there i'm gonna tell you them bites have been so soft i thought one just ate me I hooked her right into a little brush pile or something down there. It's a lot of stretch. It's like I'm pulling it in. I am definitely pulling it in. This line's strong now. All right. I hate to remove their home. <laughs> I mean, that's a something juicy. Watch this be a 30 pounder. Big old catfish or something. Definitely an old tree. 
And there she is okay well that corner was not as productive as i wished i didn't really ask for much i just wanted like a, a bite all right boys that's about all she wrote for this pond we're gonna keep on moving and uh just know we're going to some other really big fish pond so we got one good one today let's see if we can capitalize and get a couple more all right boys we are back where it all started i still haven't given up on catching one of these double digit bass in this pond and this is where we started off so what i'm gonna do i'm actually gonna skip this whole portion of the pond i'm just gonna go out on where it opens up past that tree and see if we can catch some of those fish that are out there in the middle all right here we go boys this is where it all started Let's see if we can get us a few Oh, that's a good one. That is a good one, boys. Oh my God, he's stuck in the grass. Look at that. Oh my gosh, man. That is what we wanted. Where do I have him hooked? I don't even know where my trap is. Oh, it's right here. Okay, it's right by my finger. That would've sucked. That is a good fish, boys. Look at that. Caught that four pounder yesterday out here and that was a solid three pounder and he ate that thing right at the bank man he followed that thing in beautiful fish not super fat but just all around built and super hefty that was a pretty one thank you for biting baby that is what we needed boys hopefully we can get us another one here <laughs> let's go that was quick probably 10 15 cast he didn't really smoke it didn't really feel like a hard pop. It was just straight up loaded up on that bait. And he had to fall that thing in. When I first got out here, I actually started to throw a parallel up on the bank just cause I saw a bunch of bait popping. So there is a possibility he was just up shallow, but something's telling me he did follow that bait in. Big possibility. We'll see if we can get one about twice his size. Here we go. And you know what I did? He, oh, he came off. I don't think he was big. But I'll tell you one thing I just did there. I kind of queued up on it after that bite. I slowed this bait down tremendously. A lot of these other ponds that we fished had so much grass in it to the point to where you really couldn't slow down this bait. But then here I can kind of get away with it. I still got to speed it up here and there and pick this bait off the bottom because you don't want all that grass on there. But as long as you can keep that bait steady and slow, I feel like that's what's getting the bites. I think that was a... Oh, that's a big... That's a big... That's a big... Oh my god. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Stay on, baby. Oh my god, she choked it too. Please stay on, baby. Oh my god. Look at that freaking tank, boys. Look at that freaking tank and look how he ate it. That is every bit of a six pounder. Oh my gosh. Dude, I literally watched him freaking eat it at my feet. He literally ate it right at my feet. I, I watched everything. I don't know if you guys saw that on the camera. Oh my goodness. And he choked that bait. He inhaled that bait all the way to the back of his throat. Look at that. Oh my goodness that is an absolute freaking behemoth that might be six and a half i mean that one is thick fat and healthy we're gonna get her back in she started to bleed a little bit what a freaking bass boys this place has freaking giants and we are getting closer to catching that double digit thank you baby oh my goodness i literally watched that fish eat it that was insane boys you cannot make that up i mean he just totally ambushed this thing i haven't seen a fish eat a bait like that especially that big in a minute 
I mean, I watched him right at my feet just turn on that bait and he completely inhaled it. You know, we've had a lot of these fish just kind of barely eating it and barely getting the treble hook. That was not the case of that fish. He totally slammed that thing. And I'll tell you, we made one simple adjustment, slowing this bait down. Oh my God, my adrenaline's pumping, man. That was a big fish. We caught that bass, threw out there, had a small one, it came off, and had that bad boy eat me right at my feet. There's gotta be some more that we can catch, guys. They might be biting really good right now. I'll tell you too, guys, that looks exactly like the fish that I lost on a frog. I mean, almost identical, that size caliber fish. <laughs> Dude, there is some freaking monsters in here. And I'll tell you, that's kind of making me think. So that first fish, we were saying he probably followed us in. And the same thing we could say for that fish. But there is another thing that, I mean, we could say that they're closer to the bank right now. I mean, that fish ate me right at my dang feet. And he came right off that little grass patch on the bank. I, I mean, he could have followed me in from out deep. But there's a possibility he was hugging close up shallow. So we need to make sure, with knowing that that just happened, that we kind of throw parallel along this bank and, and we don't just walk up on these fish. You know, one of the biggest mistakes that we can make right now is not throwing up on the bank and just walking up on these fish and having them boil at our feet. That's the last thing you want because then there's a slim chance that that fish is gonna bite your bait. So we're keeping this bait in the strike zone here. We're throwing about five foot off the bank and just making sure we're not missing any of these fish. We can always throw out in the middle and not worry about it, but we can't always throw here at the bank. Once you spook them, it's done. We haven't caught one in this pocket yet, but it just looks too good for there not to be a fish there. We're gonna make some good casts, especially on that little bush there in the left corner. There's gotta be a big fish there. Just gotta remember that steady retrieve, nothing too fast. We obviously need to keep that bait off the bottom because we don't want that grass on. We can keep it right above that grass though. I think that's the money zone. Small one. Oh my gosh, they're biting though. We caught three fish while we were here yesterday. And it seems like there's a different light switch turned on right now. We've had four bites, three fish. Two of them have been giants. That's a small one. When we came here yesterday, we caught one good one and two small ones. So there's actually two things that we switched up. One, we switched up the color. We had that natural sexy shad looking color. It's like the purplish light green color. And now we got just a standard sexy shad color. There is nothing special about this bait right here. This is just a proven fish catching machine, regular sexy shad. I will say I got a free on my line, so we're gonna retie. But the other change that we made today versus yesterday is that steady retrieve. I think we were trying to do it yesterday. We just really weren't slowing it down enough in my opinion. So it could be that these fish are biting a little better today, or it could be a big thing with one, the color of our bait, and also just the way that we're working it. So it's important to, to pay attention on one, what you change when you get bites, and two, just the fish's behavior and how they're acting. But uh, I mean, we've had a lot of bites very quick and I don't think that it's over yet. Tie that on with a handy dandy uni knot. We are good to go. That bait was frayed from that big fish. I mean, he had it in the back of his throat. We haven't seen that this video yet. And the biggest fish happened to just launch that thing. He had no hesitation, straight commitment. Another thing is all three of them fish, even that small one, they have all ate it at the bank. Every last one of them. I just, I don't know if they're following the bait in and then all of a sudden they wait to commit because they kind of can ambush the bait up on the bank or if they're more closer to the bank. I, I still haven't figured that out yet. That one fish that we missed was out in the middle. But I think we need to go back to our bread and butter over here. This little middle section has been so good to us these last couple days.
That's another good one. There we go. Right out there in the middle, guys. He ain't even that big. He's a two pounder. But look how he freaking ate this thing. <laughs> I got him stuck. Look at that. I got a dang bait. It's funny because it just came out. But this bait was literally stuck in between his mouth there. It's a good two pounder. Fish number four already, man. I don't know what these fish got into them today. But they are eating. Y'all like this color, don't you? Either that or you like my retrieve, one or the other. Thank you, baby. Beautiful. Beautiful two pounder. There he goes. I'm gonna be honest, I thought he was bigger than that the way he ate it. That one actually, he thumped it and then loaded up on it. It was like one hard thump and then he was on. I thought he was a little bigger than that. I thought I was gonna pull up a three plus at least. But we'll take that one. That's our second bite in the middle. So we got three that ate it at the bank, two in the middle, nothing really consistent. There we go. Oh, it came off. See, that one hit it. It was one hard hit. Never felt him load up on it, though. Maybe he just slapped it. God, I got hit again. They're, they're kind of on to me now, guys. I think <laughs> they definitely know. They're just getting irritated with this thing. All right, guys, that's about all she wrote. If you guys want to see us come out here and search for these 10 pound bass again, let me know down below. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gents, it is a new day and we about to catch some big ones, boys. So it is beautiful today. Not that it wasn't beautiful yesterday, but I wanted to come back out here and give it another shot. I didn't get too much time to hit some of the places that I wanted to hit yesterday. So we are back at it today. I'm going to be doing some more pond hopping. I'm actually cutting off this lipless that I threw yesterday. So this was just a standard, little natural, sexy shad color. This is actually like a basic sexy shad lipless right here. And I'm going to be throwing this one today. I'm going to tie this on with a standard uni knot. Boom. We are good to go. All right, boys, let's get it started. Very similar. Ooh, look at that. That is a good little sign right there. A little bit of bait popping. Very similar conditions to yesterday. I'm curious to see how the fishing plays out. I actually saw something pop some bait over there. We've seen a good bit of activity since we've been fishing in this video. It's just can we get these fish to bite? That is the real question there. So we're gonna make a lot of casts. There's a couple other ponds in this place that I'm gonna hit as well. But let's just start fan casting around and see if we can trigger some of these fish to bite. There we go. That's a bite, baby. Doesn't feel like a big one. Yeah, not a big one. Decent little fish. And the first bite of today. Come here, little boy. Come here now. Oh yeah, he's fighting good though. He's putting up a good little fight. <laughs> there we go. Look at that, just a little pound and a halfer. Nothing big, he hit that thing good. So yesterday we talked about how those fish were kind of just loading up on it, which most of the time that's what they do on a lipless. But this one actually demolished it, man. Straight up slapped that thing. And I want you guys to pay attention. Same way as yesterday. Ate that bait head first, which is usually how a fish would eat it. But I feel like a lot of the time when they're not eating the trap good, they eat that thing from behind, from what I figured out. But that's a good little fat fall bass. Not a big one, but he's a start to today's video. Thank you for biting, brother. Thank you, buddy. Oh, there he goes. That is beautiful. Let's get back in here. Let's see if we can catch a bigger one. I know there's some bigger ones in here. We're just gonna have to keep casting around. So this pond actually connects to that one and there's two bass right here in front of me. Dude, there's a ton of bluegill and there's two bass just tailing them, man. Oh, they're right there to my left. That is crazy. I saw all these bluegill swimming. I actually see one, I think that's one to the left there. 
all these bluegills swimming, these bass just tailing right behind them. Man, I was hoping I was gonna get one to bite real quick. I think if I had a different bait on, whether it was like a little Texas rig or a weightless worm or a weightless fluke, I think I would've got this fish to bite pretty quick. They had a little bit of interest in it. They just didn't want to commit. They probably saw me too. Right as I walked up, I just happened to see them. A lot of bait, a lot of activity. These fish roaming around. There's another pipe right here, and this is what connects to that other pond. Surprised we didn't get a bite on this pipe on the other side. You'd think that there would be a fish at the end of this thing. You'd think so. Sometimes fishing just doesn't make sense. Oop. Eat it, dude. Come on. You just slapped it just like that other fish. Maybe they're eating a little weird today. Mmm. It's a little slap slap. That was it. Dude. Oh. I had one instantly when I hit the water. What in the world? Ooh, did you guys see that? What is happening? They are not one to eat it. I've never seen a fish slam a trap like that. Did you see my whole rod to replay that if we can? I mean, that was a straight just knock. Ooh, I mean, why are they eating it? Like, maybe they just don't want it today, man. Maybe that's just what it is. Oh, I mean, that's three different bites that we've had where they haven't ate it. Yesterday, it was a little different. I had three bites at that one pond. I mean, I caught them. Caught them all. Maybe they're just not wanting to eat this. But there should be no reason that a bass slams a trap like that. Unless that was a bluegill. But that's just odd. I will say we have no wind today. If we had a little bit of wind, I think it would help our cause here. And then we have one eat it just like that. That feels like a better one, man. Uh, okay. He ain't big, but he ain't bad. I'll take him. He ain't big at all. But that's a bite. And yeah, the same way, man. Got that front trouble barely ate it though and he was barely on there another about a pound and a half or not a big one but hey i'm just having fun catching them we're gonna find these big ones guys and look how beautiful this water is okay you're supposed to have more of a majestic release on that but that did not happen dude i got hit on my first cast in here boys and he ate it like a dang top water. My trap was freaking rolling at the top. That's insane, dude. Here we go. <laughs> Let's go. We're just gonna ski him right in. That was sick. Not a big one, but pretty one, man. That's one of the prettiest bass I've caught in a long time. Wait till y'all see the lateral line on this thing. Super skinny. Caught some big ones in here though. There's some nice fish. Look at that. Heck yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Look how beautiful that fish is right there. Look at the markings. Wow, that was sick, man. First cast, my trap started to roll like a topwater at the top. Heck yeah, boys, let's keep casting. That's a good sign. First cast, we catch a fish. That's a money sign right now. Come on, let's do it again. So let's make it, let's get us a big one, man. I'm tired of catching these little Twinkies today had some bites today this have not been big i to figure out how to get these big girls to eat there's just too much slop in this pond i'm trying my best i can't believe we got a bite on our first cast and we just haven't had nothing i mean i made probably 30 casts here nothing else that's insane dude there's a whole school of bass right here whole school of bass they definitely just saw me oh my god there's so many of them 
There's so many of them. There's so many. Oh, he's coming after me. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? Do you guys see that right there? Dude, that was insane, bro. Oh my God, I'm about to fall over. Dude, that was the sickest eat I've had in a long time. Oh my gosh, that was sick. Another first cast, or no, that was second cast, but <laughs> another quick cast. This fish is not big, but that was sick, man. And there's more down there. Oh my God, they're everywhere, bro.